what's up youtube back with another video today i am going to be taking you guys through a productive day in my life while using the macbook m3 pro i recently just bought this computer probably about a week and a half ago and i've been using it every single day and it has been amazing so if you're an entrepreneur content creator graphic designer if you do a lot of work on computer in general definitely going to enjoy this video because i'm going to be showing you how i use my macbook m3 pro to increase my productivity and my workflow throughout the day so it's the top of the morning today is monday and monday is always my most busy days so i got a ton of computer work to do first thing i gotta do brush my teeth spend some time with god and then we gonna hop right into work every day i start out with spending time with god through a devotional we all have flaws and through this time that i spend with god i learn not only more about him but about myself and the areas i can improve on to becoming the man i want to be the heights in life that I plan on going, I know that I can't do it alone. So I look to the one who created me for guidance in navigating this life. So now that we got the important stuff out of the way, I normally start every single day by responding to emails and just kind of catching up on anything that I missed out on. So yeah, emails, text messages, DMs, all of those type of things. I like to handle that in the very, very beginning part of my day because I know if I don't do it in the beginning, it'll never get done. So. Before upgrading to the M3 Pro, I had a 2020 iMac that I used here at my desk. Don't get me wrong, I loved it, but it was time for an upgrade. I still have the iMac, but since my M3 purchase, I have no use for it. However, I still love to do work at my desktop setup, so I bought an LG 32 inch ultra wide monitor to still maintain a desktop setup. All right, so I just got done getting a lot of that work done, responded to some emails, a lot of brands, man. I, I didn't check my email all day Friday. So over the weekend, it was like tons of brands in my DM, email asking to collab and stuff. But <sighs> you a content creator, you already know how that goes. But now I have a call at 9.30. It's 9.07 right now. Basically what this call is for is over the weekend, I had a career readiness workshop for my nonprofit. It was really, really cool. Um, so it was for all middle and high school students. So basically have a recap meeting just to kind of talk a little bit over about you know what went well what didn't go well and how we can improve in the future so i got a call at 9 30 so i'm about to throw on some clothes and i'm actually going to take this call in one of the conference rooms here in my apartment just because i like to change up my space as i'm working throughout the day so let's do it now i'm not gonna even lie to y'all i was lying now i do like to change my space but the real reason is because my new lg monitor doesn't have a built-in webcam so i needed to use the m3's webcam i've been trying to use my sony camera to set up as a webcam but i've been having many issues with connection so if any of you know how to do this please let me know in the comments the m3 pro's camera gives off a great level of detail in most conditions with a good control of visual noise while on calls and as far as audio it has pretty solid dynamics and tonal balance all right so just got done with my call Everything went great. Man, this MacBook is a real deal. Like I said, creators, entrepreneurs, graphic designers, you have to get one of these. It will change your life. I used to have a MacBook Air and I upgraded to the M3 Pro. Best decision I ever made. So I don't know if you guys know, if you watched one of my last vlogs, I think it was like my productive day in the life vlog. I explained how somebody backs into the back of my BMW. That car has actually been in the shop over the last week and they just called me and said it is ready to be picked up. So that's where we're headed right now. All right, so we're about to head out. My hoodie is so wrinkled, but honestly, I don't care because I'm just going to pick up my car. So I can't drive my car to go pick up my car because it's only me. So what I'm actually going to do is ride my scooter. The car repair shop is like three and a half miles away. My scooter is electric, so it's not a kick scooter. So it should take me probably around 20 minutes to get there, but come on, man. I'm not paying no $12 for no Uber when I got a scooter that works perfectly fine. So I don't know how much I'm going to record, but yeah, one thing about me, if I could do it myself, I'm not paying nobody else to do it. So I'm about to ride our scooter or not our scooter. I'm about to ride my scooter to go pick up my car and then we're going to go from there. So I'm back in the whip. Let's go, man, bro. I'm so happy. My car, they put a brand new trunk on the car, brand new bumper. Listen, whoever hit my car last month 
and just drove off without saying anything, God gonna get you, for real. For real, for real, that's foul, man. Like, how you just gonna hit me and not even say nothing? But anyway, I'm glad the repair is done. I did have to pay a deductible, unfortunately, but hey, I'd rather pay money and get my car fixed than be driving around town, car that smashed in in the back. So, I'm about to head back to the apartment, change my clothes again, and get some more work done. All right, so we're back, uh, changed my clothes. Y'all probably thinking like, how many times does this dude change clothes a day? I normally don't change clothes as often. I don't know what's going on today, but anyway, this is the last thing I'm gonna have on probably for the rest of the day, I believe so. It's still morning time, and now I'm actually going to go to one of my favorite coffee shops to do the rest of my work. I don't know, I just kind of like to change my environment when I'm working only because of when I'm sitting here in my room for long periods of time, but like my productivity levels go down. So just to kind of keep myself refreshed, keep myself energized and productive. And another benefit of that, which I've actually mentioned in another YouTube video, which you should check it out, I might link it up here, is when I do work in coffee shops, I feel more productive because I'm surrounding myself around other productive people. So everybody in the coffee shop is working on their own little projects, their business work. And I feel like that productivity rubs off on me and helps me to accomplish a lot more things. So let's get our bag packed and head out. Always, whenever you go out, regardless of where you're going, you always gotta have a good book because you never know when you have some downtime. This is my current read. I'm not gonna lie, I've been reading this book for a minute. It's been taking me a long time to finish it because I have not been locked in, but we're gonna finish it soon, don't even trip. Now my favorite thing since upgrading to the M3 Pro is portability. I used to have an iMac and a MacBook Air. And since these both had their own internal SSDs, I had to constantly move files from my iMac over to my M1 Air when I wanted to work away from my desk space. Now that I've upgraded to the M3 Pro, not only do I have a more powerful computer, but I'm also able to travel without having to transfer any files or data, as this is my only computer that I work off of. All right, so we're on our way to the coffee shop, but first things first is I'm actually hungry. Have y'all noticed I didn't eat anything today? Listen, let me put y'all on game real quick. Now, I know this is not the healthiest thing in the world, and I'm trying to be better with my diet and eating healthy, but if you don't got the McDonald's app, man, what are you doing? Like, normally a breakfast sandwich is like 4 or $5, but with the app, it's like $2. I got a deal. Every morning I can get a free, or not a free breakfast sandwich. Every morning I can get a breakfast sandwich for $2. And on top of that, this is really the, the real play. I got two phones, right? So I got two McDonald's apps. So if I want two breakfast sandwiches, I'm getting a two for one special. You see what I'm saying? Because if one breakfast sandwich costs $5, I'm getting both of them for $2 each. That's four dollars for less than the price of one so yeah if you don't got the mcdonald's app you gotta get that picking up uh i got two two orders two mobile orders drive through okay what's gonna be the first one vj12 for nigel yes okay. Okay, that's the first one now what's gonna be the second one dh15 nigel as well yep okay could i get you anything else please? uh no nah, that'll be yeah. it you can both work to the first one, but please. Thank you. Yes. Well, you ordered twice. Yes. You ordered twice? Yeah. <laughs> I had two though. I had two orders. The quarter pounder as well? Yeah. Right, do you mind to the left and all the way? Yeah. She almost forgot my second order. You better get it right. You feel me? You better get it right. But listen, just to break it down, let me give y'all a quick breakdown. I got a quarter pounder, a large Sprite. Two French fries for $3.39. Come on, bro. You can't beat that. Now, the food is fake. It's not good for your body, but if you don't care about that, that's a bargain if you ask me. Like I said, I like to do work in different environments to help me stay productive. So today I pulled up to Mother Shop Coffee in downtown Las Vegas. What's funny is I actually don't drink coffee, but I'm just here for the productive vibes. When it comes to working on my computer, I'm a multitasker and like to run multiple applications simultaneously. My 2020 MacBook Air M1 had eight gigabytes of RAM, and now my M3 Pro has 18 gigabytes of RAM, which totally changes my work experience. And for those of you that might be confused, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, which is basically the processor that's used to run applications and open files. So with an extra 10 gigabytes of RAM, I can do a lot more without worrying about my computer shutting down. All right, so that was probably like a solid two hours of really good work, got a lot of stuff done. Um, and like I was saying, I mean, one of my favorite features about this is the portability. That's the main exact reason why 
I upgraded my computer is because I like to change my environment. I like to do it quite often. I don't like to be forced to be stuck in one location and I can't move and I can't do different things. So being able to have portability in the things I'm doing is, is really huge for me. So once again, I'm changing my location. I was working inside, but now I'm outside just because it's a nice day outside. Vegas, normally it gets really, really hot, but I'm trying to enjoy this time while it lasts because I know in a couple weeks it's going to be 110 degrees outside. But before I dive back into more work, I want to just show you guys something really quick. So not only did I get the space black, but the space black actually doesn't pick up as many fingerprints as like the other colors. So, I mean, you can kind of see fingerprints, but it's definitely not as noticeable. Like my hands are really dirty right now, touching on it. Can't really see anything. You can kind of see it on the Apple logo, but yeah, super, super clean. And it's actually surprisingly somewhat lightweight. Of course, it's not as light as the MacBook Air, but um, yeah, this thing holds up pretty well. Now, before I deep dive into some more work, I thought it'd be pretty cool if I tell y'all exactly what I'm doing. So I have the social media algorithm down packed and figuring out this YouTube thing. But in terms of building an online presence, the social media algorithm, building a personal brand, I know that stuff like the back of my hand. I'm actually building a community group to teach other people how to do that as well. It's extremely lucrative. You can make a lot of money online, selling products, selling merch, selling whatever you have to offer. And not only that, just building a personal brand is very, very valuable. So I'm in the process process of building that community group. So I have a couple courses and educational aspects of the group that I need to work on to be valuable for you guys. So the group is probably not launched by the time I posted this video, but if it is, the link will be in the description. I'm not sure if it'll be ready yet, but in the very, very last phases of the group, and I'm really, really excited because it's going to be very, very valuable for a lot of you content creators who want to do what I do. So I'm really, really excited and I hope you join the group. The community group is called The Social Blueprint. I'm really excited to launch it because I feel it will be so helpful to other aspiring and upcoming creators. God has given me this skill and I wanna be able to help other creators get to where I am today. So if you're a creator and is interested in joining the group, comment social blueprint with your social media handle and I'll send you a link to join when we go live. But like I said, I like to change it up, so on to spot number two, Bungalow's Coffee, another shop in downtown Las Vegas. All right, so I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm at a new coffee shop. One thing about me, man, I really get bored with my environment very, very quickly. And thank God I had these mics, because if not, I was not gonna be able to do this because I don't wanna be in the coffee shop screaming at the top of my lungs and drawing unnecessary attention to myself. But I just realized that I never actually told you guys what model of the MacBook M3 Pro that I have and like if I did any upgrades. So. As you guys know, this is the MacBook M3 Pro. Uh, I just dropped, dropped a couple months ago, I think November, but I literally just picked this up a couple weeks ago. So I paid about 2000 for this computer. Some of y'all might be thinking, oh, that's it? And some of y'all might be thinking, what in the world is wrong with you? It was very much needed. So I got the M3 Pro, not the M3 Pro Max and not the M3. This thing has, in fact, I have to look up the specs because I don't know it off the top of my head one second. So before I talk about what this computer is, I'm going to tell you what I upgraded from. So I had the 2020 M1 MacBook Air. That was like eight gigs of RAM, um, 256 gigs SSD. Yeah, it was like the, the base model is very, very cheap. The only reason why I bought it was because I was in college and I needed something to do schoolwork on, which worked absolutely fine just for that. But as I got into my content creation journey, I needed a more powerful computer because the MacBook Air just couldn't keep up anymore. So got the M3 Pro. So this thing has 18 gigs of RAM, which helps me to be able to run multiple different platforms at one time simultaneously. The MacBook Air would constantly crash on me whenever I had like Adobe Premiere, which is a software that I edit on, and like the internet open, it was it was a nightmare. It also has 512 gigabytes of storage SSD, so this is also an upgrade from what I had at 256. I'm able to store a lot of things on here, but I didn't really feel the need to upgrade because most of my stuff is on external hard drives anyway, so it was really no point in me spending an extra $300 just for some extra storage. Something else that I really do like about this laptop is the battery life. My MacBook Air, I will literally have to charge that thing every single day, all day pretty much for the majority of the day and I am still sitting at 87% battery. So I've never gone through a full day and used this whole entire battery. When I'm working on my computer, most of the time it is docked. So when it's docked, it's being charged. So it's not really too often that it's not on the charger other than when I'm out day to day running errands or working in coffee shops like this. So battery life has been amazing so far. I do have a little bit more work to do. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with March Madness, but today LSU is actually playing Iowa, Caitlin Clark versus Angel Reese. That game comes on at four. It's two o'clock right now. Now, so I'm gonna hurry up and try and get done with this work so I can go tune in.
Now, I've seen Caitlin Clark highlights on social media, but I've never sat down and watched one of her games. She's gonna cash out. Nah, bro, bro. Kaylin Clark got eight threes, bro. Eight three pointers. Eight sixteen. She got twenty four points straight off threes, bro. Look at this, bro. What is Kaylin supposed to do? Wow. She goes over. Bro, that game was crazy. Kaylin Clark is insane. Right now, I think USC and UConn is playing right now, but unfortunately, I can't stay to watch the game because I actually have one more thing to do before the night is over. So if y'all don't know, from time to time, I like to, you know, get my little side hustle along with my skills that I have. So content creation, obviously, is something that I'm passionate about and good at. So I'm going to help a family member of mine record a video of him and his dance team dancing. He teaches like a dance class once a week. Sometimes I'll pop in and create some content for him. So that's the last thing we got to do today. I don't want you to have to pull them all out. I was just trying to pull them when we can see them in the, in the shop. Yeah. Pull a clip of somebody walking down this hallway. I can't do a 15 second clip of somebody walking all the way down the hallway. Nobody want to watch that long. Maybe a quick, quick little. Right, so I'm back in the room today. It's been a crazy day. But I saved my favorite feature for last, even though it's really not that crazy of a feature. It's just I'm not used to it since I had the MacBook Air. It's actually the SD slot. But this thing is a game changer for real because I'm accustomed to having to use one of these. And, and if you have used one of these, you know how big of a pain these are. They're always dangling all over the place, pause. But now that it's built directly into the MacBook, all I gotta do is just have my SD card and insert it right in and get busy, so. But since it's the end of the day, one thing that helps me to calm my brain down is what I love to do, which is editing. So I'm about to start editing this YouTube video that you're watching right now yes you heard me correctly this youtube video let's do it all right so that will conclude a productive day with the macbook m3 pro this thing is my baby my new favorite computer my only computer and like i said guys if you're a graphic designer if you're an entrepreneur if you do a lot of work on your computer and need a very very good computer this is definitely has to be one of your options to choose from but i'm very very tired let's see let's check the battery life so currently the computer is at 37 percent so i used around 70 percent been using it all day no case and barely any fingerprints on there so not only is this thing durable it does not show any fingerprints i hope you guys enjoy my productive day with my macbook m3 pro um, and i look forward to bringing you guys more tech content and more productivity and day in the life content so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot we just hit 2,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one